Hi guys, welcome to Kurosawa's Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. All right, today I want to show you how to solve questions on Rose theorem. Have you guys what I'm saying? So the first thing under this Rose theorem, like I checked in the last class, I told you that the Rose theorem has to be differentiable on the closing interval, and it has to be continuous. It has to be continuous on the closed interval and it has to be differentiable on the open interval. And then also your f of a must be equal to your f of b. I guess that's what I'm saying. So let's say you want to check through this question. Now, if for example you are told to find the point of this function, if you are told to find the point, the point is you are told to find your x. Now, you can only find your x when the function satisfy the rose theorem so let's check is this function continuous yes it is continuous because if you put any value here it will still be continuous and is it differentiable as you can see it can be differentiated so that means it is differentiable now many times when you see quadratic function linear functions cubic functions they are most like polynomial functions are always continuous and differentiable except the one that is uh, rational polynomials that you sometimes have to check. Do we get that now? All right. So we want to check if this function satisfies Rose theorem, and if they do, what is the point you get? All right. So let's check for this. So the first one, our f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Our a, our a here is 1, and our b is what two? Are you guys what I'm saying now? So our a here is one, and our b is what two. So the first thing we've been able to see that this function is differentiable and is continuous. So the next thing we have to check is that our f of a must be equal to our, what, our f of b. So virtually all these functions are continuous. So the next thing we want to check for is if our f of a will be equal to our f of b. So let's check. What is your f of one? f of 1 will give us what? 1 squared minus 3 times 1 plus 2. And f of 1 will be equal to 1. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 minus 3, 0. Do we get that now? Now let's do for f of b, which is what? f of what? f of 2. Our f of 2 will be what? 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 2. And that will be what? 2 squared is what? 4 minus what? 6 plus 2. 4 plus 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is what? Zero. Now you can see that your f of a is equal to what f of what b because this is zero and this is also what zero. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So that means they are what they are equal. So now if they have satisfied the three conditions of Rose theorem, now the next thing you need to do now is to check for the point. So how do you check for the point? For you to check for the point, you set your f prime of c. To be equal to zero. Now, what do we mean? Differentiate your function. Our function is f f of x plus. Our function f of x is equal to what? x squared minus d x plus two. So our f prime of x will now be equal to what? Two x minus what? D. Now we say set your f prime of x to be equal to what? Zero. So this is going to be 0 equals what? 2x minus what? 3. And that will be what? Make x rate of formula. So you bring 3 minus 3 to this side. So that will become 3 equals what? 2x. Then that will start by 2. That means x equals what? 2 over, what? over 3. And that means x equals what? 1.5. Now, you also have to note that if you have this, if you have a less than or equals to x Less than or equals to b. Your a must not be less, must not be greater than your x, and your x must not be what must not be greater than your what your b. But your a cannot also be what be greater than your x. Your x cannot be greater than what your b. So your x must be in between. Your x must be what in between. So how do you get that? You can use this shortcut that your x is equal to what a plus b over 2. Now, let's check whether this is applicable. 
what is our a using this shortcut our a is what one our b is what two over over two and our x equals what one plus two d over two so you can easily apply the shortcut to the functions that satisfy Rose theorem to be able to get your points. So I'm sure you understand how I got that now. So let's quickly run through the second example. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. All right. So now this second function, we've been able to see that the function is continuous and differentiable. So the next thing we want to check is if our f of a is equal to our, what, our f of b before we check for our point. So let's go through that. Our f of a will be f of minus 3. So anyway, see x equal minus 3. So that would be minus 3 all squared plus 5 into minus 3 plus 6. So minus 3 squared is what? 9. This times this will give us minus 15 plus what? plus 6, right? And that gives us what? 0. Did we get that? Now, our f of b, f of minus 2, which is what? Anywhere I see x, I put minus 2. So, minus 2 square plus 5 over bracket minus 2 plus 6. And that be, this one we call what? 4. This one we call what? Minus 10. Then plus what? 6. And that we call what? 0. Because 6 plus 4 is 10, then 10 minus 10 is what? 0. So now we can see that our f of a is equal to our what? Our f of b. So that means this satisfies the Rose theorem. So on satisfying the Rose theorem, I can check for my points. So let's check for the point using the short course. x is equal to what? b plus e over what? Over 2. So that will be x equals to what's our b minus 2. What's our a minus 3? over what over 2 and that is our x is what minus 5 over 2 which is the same thing as minus 2.5 now you can see that it can enter in because you can see minus 3 is less than or equals to minus what 2.5 less than or equals to minus 2 minus 3 is less than minus 2.5 and minus 2.5 is also less than what minus 2 so do we understand that also so for the third one for the third one, let's check whether our f of v is equal to our f of b uh, before we check for the points. That is the first thing you have to check if it satisfies Rose theorem. All right. So our f of a here is what f of zero. F of zero is five into zero minus t, and that gives us what minus t. Right. Now for the second one, f of two. F of two is what five into two. Minus t, and that was 10 minus what t. Now you can see that our f of a here is not equal to our f of b. So since our f of a is not equal to our f of b, you can tell that this does not satisfy the Rose theorem, and therefore you can't find any points in there. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. By next class, we'll be talking on differentiation. Thank you very much. And God bless you.